Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jose, the California beekeeper. Welcome to the channel. It's fall. Is it too late to split? Well, in this video, we're going to show you little tips, what to look for to make that decision a little easier. All right. If you haven't already subscribed, well, you know what to do. Go hit that subscribe button. Here we're going to show you how to make a false split and how to determine that. Um, the first thing that you need to do is go to your hives that you know have been producing and have been just outstanding throughout the year. Those are the ones that you know you need to attack because you know that there's um, the odds are that they're the ones that are going to be split. So here in this yard we're going to attack the ones that are three high. I'm going to make an effort to try to find the queen. We're gonna relocate the queen onto an empty pallet. And it's very important that you move her onto a spot that didn't have a hive. You don't wanna swap hives. You wanna put her on something that um, is not gonna have any foreign bees. And the reason why is because you don't want any foreign bees to maul her or attack her and result killing her. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spot the queen, relocate her, and we're gonna introduce some some virgin queens that um, that I have, that I, I just went ahead and I brought over some virgin queens and we're gonna introduce them. Um, so let's get after it. All right, so we're gonna attack this. We'll just work our way until we find a queen, find one that's uh, suitable to split. So immediately I'm just gonna just give them a little puff. Just take this top box off. Um, really all they got going on here is uh, working on storing honey. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to stack the super that has the queen on it. So let's take this one down. As you can see it's very well populated all the way across. And what you need to look for is to start looking for what kind of resources they have. As far as the weight, the weight is outstanding. It has a lot of weight. And um, we're gonna see how the pollen is. So here we're already seeing eggs on the outside frames. Eggs, plenty of pollen. Let's see if I could... Uh, So that's a good sign. Now let's just start looking for the queen. And once you find the queen, you can evaluate her and make sure she's not an old queen. I always like to requeen. Very important for our operation to have good, healthy queens that are going to survive the winter. And it's very important to look at all the signs as far as is she laying? Is there a lot of brood? And her patterns. That's an excellent frame. So this is an excellent example of what you can split. This is on top box and we'll start working these frames until we find her. You know when you're looking for the queen always like to have that frame 
a little distance away from me, arm's length, and she usually just stands out. Stands out very well. And yeah, they, they definitely have some weight. These frames were put in on 717. Looks like they're working it a little. So we're not gonna bother looking at those just because I'm getting into honey frames now. And uh, we'll start to look downstairs. Give these uh, this frame a shake. Just I don't want to uh, smush any bees. Pretty important for me not to uh, squish bees have them eat that stuff it's not good for their digestive system and it doesn't have to be very difficult to try to find the queen you know you just got to fly through the frames because likely she is on the move once you start puffing uh, smoke here you can see there's a lot of pollen here so they're bringing in, they're bringing in enough nectar, enough pollen, that it makes doing the split just a lot easier um, as far as making that initial decision. Uh, depending on your area, I highly recommend you looking for that pollen and checking to see what they have in stores as far as their honey. All laid out with larvae. Let's see if we can find her. Plenty of pollen. Outstanding. Look at all that. Put this aside. Spotted her. And there she is. Look at that beauty. So now that we found her, we're gonna put her back in that bottom box. And here's a quick little tip. So I have the queen over here on this side. So what I'm going to do is face her the other direction. That way, when I stick my frame back in, I know that I can compress this frame up against the other and not have to worry about killing the queen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to relocate her to that empty slot. That way um, we can set the other hive here without the queen. This hive that's queenless will pick up all the drift coming in. So that's what we want. We want the one that does not have the queen to pick up all the all the flight coming back so we know this one has a queen and uh, relocator huh the lid back on here so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna introduce a virgin queen the other day I was installing some uh, some cells into the nooks and had some extra cells. Out. So we're just gonna go ahead and kind of pick which ones we want to go with. We had a, a blonde, an Italian there. Let's see, leaf hatch. Here's another hatched one. A little carnolian. And Oh, this one got a little sticky. So the reason why it got sticky was um, put in a little bit of sugar water when cells, um, if you're going to store them, once they hatch out those virgins, they need to eat immediately. So uh, they won't survive very long without having something to, something to eat. But I think we're going to go ahead and introduce the Italian in order to get a faster buildup. Let's take this girl over here. 
and with with virgins here's a little tip you do not need to wait to release her you can release her immediately um, they do not have any pheromones so they won't maul her attack her um, they won't even know she's there so we're gonna go ahead and directly release her and how I like to do it is I'll take this cell cup out and I will spread some of these frames out here so have the queen there so. usually maybe you block that and she'll walk right out there she goes And that is how you directly release a virgin queen. That's how you make a split, a false split, and determine what you are looking for. So I hope that made it a little bit easier for you guys that are new to it, or hesitant to split. Just a couple little things that you need to look for. It's not rocket science, but it is very important to make sure you look for those things. Pollen, nectar, and population three things <laughs> all right let's put this back together we'll grab a lid we will put a top feeder on this one we will take this high body go take it to where our queen is we will close this baby up go ahead and uh, put a top feeder squeeze that air out so they don't get drowned in sugar water and we'll take another can stick it on top of this one as the queen and there is your split we'll go check that out later and make sure that she is mated. Um, she should go out in her mating flight in about seven days. So we'll come back in about two weeks. Check it out. All right, guys. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you go smash that subscribe button. Go give us a big thumbs up on this video. And I hope you enjoyed, guys. So make sure you stay following us on Instagram and on Facebook at the California Beekeeper. Woo! It is hot. <laughs>